Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do a Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So, before we begin the analysis, let's have a discussion on what happened today. So, market opened gap down both Nifty and Bank Nifty. Uh, however, this so we discussed this yesterday. Like, in case if the market opens a uh, gap down, so we had pros who had shorted some calls. So I told you that, you know, they immediately booked the calls because they know that FIs have uh, created long positions in calls. That means they have bought call options. So definitely uh, they, FIs need a momentum and a rally to book those profits. And they had already booked loss in the index futures yesterday. So definitely they would not uh, want to book loss again today. So they would definitely drive the market. And that's what happened today. And they is always something which uh, you know in the first uh, strong uptrend if you get a dip either through a gap down or maybe for any uh, you know any reason usually people buy at the first time and that's what happened today and the market continued its rally in both nifty and bank nifty so now what to expect next so since we already did the rally uh, for the last two days, the continuous upside, uh, the market can take a halt or a rest at this place. Because now, uh, if you see this red candle, so this is considered to be the monthly high, and this is somewhere close to 36,000. And to be exactly uh, precise, this is 36,083. Okay, so we are definitely going to see a strong resistance here and there is a possibility of a gap up opening and if that happens, uh, definitely people would want to book their profits at a resistance. So in a gap up, uh, we are not going to buy a call or something. Uh, so we'll discuss that based on the data and the levels. So similarly, if you look at uh, Nifty, Nifty is also approaching a resistance, which we discussed yesterday. Uh, it was 16,430. So from 430 until 500, uh, it is all a resistance area. So definitely, uh, you know, buying a call option and achieving that target is going to be a difficult one tomorrow. So let's look at the data and understand what the big players have done. And that would give us a clear picture what to plan tomorrow. So if you look at the FI data, uh, FIs have created some long positions in index future. This is a good sign. And they have also added some shorts, but these are not that significant number. But we still know that. I was expecting that in this rally, they would have booked another 15K uh, index shorts, but that did not happen. And they have added some more. So definitely that risk is still there in the market and if you look at the options uh, not a very significant position they just have about 11,300 call longs and 5,300 put shots so this is not a significant position based on uh, a Tuesday so tomorrow it's Wednesday so definitely there is a chance of premium DK and they have created very less positions this means that even they are uh, confused or I would not say confused but they are also uh, vigilant at this place uh, because they also know that we are reaching some important levels and market can face resistance so they would have expected a gap up opening hence they are long in calls so in case if we get a gap up uh, they'll definitely book it and then we'll have to depend on option chain to understand what the big players are doing are they selling calls or are they selling puts or something which will have to watch it closely and secondly if you look at pros a similar position like yesterday so they are holding call shots and there are a lot of put shots so that means pros are definitely bullish but looking at their call shots it gives a uh, confidence that uh, even they are not expecting a very strong upside like what it happened today so overall, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is uh, we can expect a gap up opening. 
but a continuation of the gap up or we say follow through uh, is not really visible here. So tomorrow we can expect some profit booking uh, or in the other word, we say that uh, we can expect some pullback. Okay. So this is what the data says. And I also opened the option chain. Wanted to show you all something. And another thing is uh, FIs were net buyers in the cash market today. So that's another good news. So we have seen them adding uh, longs in the futures. They have bought about 976.4 crores today in the cash market. They have bought calls. So the entire data from FIs uh, looks bullish. And if you look at the put call ratios of uh, Bank Nifty and Nifty, so Bank Nifty stands at 1.54 and Nifty stands at 1.37. So 1.54, uh, that means it is approaching resistance. So 1.55 to 1.6 is considered to be a reversal level of the put call ratio. So that's what. Things looks bullish and everything looks bullish. So that's when we as retail traders have to be a little cautious. Okay, when everything is bullish, then definitely it's a trap for retailers because looking at all these things we would prefer going long and the market can take a u-turn or it can come down for a profit booking uh, so now let's go back to the charts and discuss the levels on the smaller time frame yeah, activating my lines Okay, so we have a strong uh, resistance from 16,430 to 16,480. Okay, these are strong resistance zone in Nifty. And right now, if you look at SGX Nifty, it is already trading around 16,440. Okay, so when we say 430 to 480, that means even 16,500 is something which we can consider. So in case if the market... Uh, opens at this place say around at this area okay so imagine the first candle is a red candle then obviously the buyers who are sitting here uh, would be very much vigilant here and as soon as a candle you know crosses the low of this candle immediately these people will start booking their profits and slow and steady the market can come down to these levels Okay, so I'm expecting a pullback tomorrow, uh, but definitely if there is a huge gap up, like Nifty opens around 16,430 to 16,500 or Bank Nifty, if it opens around 35,900 to 36,000 level, uh, we can definitely expect a, a profit booking from the big players and as well as uh, people who are bullish. So definitely if I hold a position, I would definitely want to book it there. So let's see, uh, we discussed gap up in Nifty. In case if we open flat, uh, I'll say a slight gap down around 16 to 80, uh, this will be taken as an opportunity to buy a call option. So which we call it as buy on dip. Okay, we'll still consider that option. Uh, in case if we open with a slight gap down or maybe flat and if we are coming down at this level, we'll buy a call option. Below 16 to 60, uh, if the market stays for say 15 minutes to 30 minutes below this level, uh, we may slowly see the market coming down to 16,150. Okay, so we'll take uh, or we'll be bearish only uh, below 16,260. And that too, it has to stay below that level for about uh, next 15 to 30 minutes. And in case if we open flat and if we cross the high, uh, you can buy a call, uh, but you should book it uh, so it is around 16 360 so if we cross 360 we may get another 70 to 80 points move so go with minimum quantity or better not trade uh, a gap up is the best scenario to go for a put in case if we break the low of the first candle okay and any big gap down uh, which is not uh, possible i guess but if the market opens gap down within this level 
and if it doesn't go up to fill the gap then we can see some selling pressure and that can also drag nifty to 16150 but uh, this is something which we are not really expecting so either we can expect a small gap down and the market can go and test this level or we can expect a strong gap up uh, which can eventually pull back for a profit book so similarly in bank nifty also we are approaching a resistance uh, near to 36,000. So I don't have a line here. Let us just put a line here. Close to 36,000. So imagine we have a strong resistance at 36,000. It's a monthly high. So in case if we open here, the same strategy, we'll wait for the first candle. And if the second candle crosses the low, we'll enter on the put side and we could expect to fall until this place which is close to 35 6 80 okay so we can expect a 300 320 points dip or a profit booking that we call and that's the plan for gap up in case if we open flat say within this range uh, same thing We'll wait for the high to cross you can buy one lot of call and book it near 35950 and that's it and in case if we open gap down if we get a dip at this place we should definitely buy a call near 35400 and the target should be around 34800 to 900 okay so for both uh, nifty and bank nifty what we have decided is uh, any dip uh, is a buy and a strong or a big gap up opening uh, could turn into a sell and flat opening and if it breaks the high we'll either not trade or with a small quantity okay why the reason is FIIs do not hold any strong positions in the options and secondly uh, everything is bullish so cash is positive futures is positive options is positive uh, PCR near 1.54 which is a resistance so when everything is positive uh, you know things may change so this is my view on Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow and just to give you an update, uh, our algo performed well uh, on Thursday. It gave us a profit of 3,000. On Friday, it gave us a profit of 3,000. Uh, even on a Monday, it gave the profit of 3,000. And even today, uh, we were able to book 3,000. So constant profits. Uh, I hope it continues tomorrow. And uh, the algo is definitely performing well. Uh, very soon, I'll again start recording the videos and start posting it uh, in our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video. Till then, subscribe the channel, share it with your friends, like the videos, and definitely do write some comments, which could be a feedback or an appreciation to me for the work that I do. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.